All right, Facebook Live. So today we're talking about the home inspection because most of the deals that I see that are going to fall out of us are going to fall out of escrow because of a home inspection. A lot of deals get blown by home inspectors because typically home inspectors do a really poor job of explaining the problems that they have found within a house or the perceived problems or could be a problem at some point in the future. This roof could be a problem. And so when you get a home inspection report, step number one, throw it away. All right, no, just kidding. Step number one with the home inspection report, don't freak out. Don't do anything when you get a home inspection report back about your home. Here's why. A lot of sellers will take a home inspection report, they'll read it, they'll see the language written in a home inspection report, and they'll fucking freak out. They'll be like, oh my God, we've got all these problems with the house. I thought it was perfect and it's falling apart. And it's not true most of the time. Sometimes there could be some serious issues. Most of the time, it's a bunch of Mickey Mouse bullshit that is super easy to fix or shouldn't even need attention, but it's going to get called out in a home inspection report. And what people do, home sellers, they'll run out and they'll fix everything before they even had to. And then they'll come back and say, now we've got a clear inspection report and then the buyer still backs out anyway for a different reason. So look, before you go out and you spend money fixing your home, wait until you get the proper documentation from the buyer on what they want to be fixed within the house. Because here's what happens. What you see is a major problem, and I see this happen all the time. I see sellers so freaked out about a certain issue with the house and then they have a home inspection. The home inspector doesn't even look twice at it. And they're like, oh, that's not an issue. So look, the, the problem is that people get these home inspections. The home inspections are so like over the top danger. Your home will burn down if you have a nail hole in the drywall that's in the garage because fire can get there. Look, guys, don't do anything until you get the proper documentation from a buyer because whatever a buyer sees as a problem may not be what you see as a problem or the other way around. For instance, if the buyer, unbeknownst to you, is a licensed plumber and you've got some plumbing leaks or piping issues, that person may say, oh, this is no big deal. Or, hey, my cousin is an electrician. They can come out and fix that for free. We're not going to be worried about that. Or they might be a roofer or a contractor themselves and not worry about the roof. So don't do anything, first of all. Step number two, if you do have a big ticket item, and I see this one happen a lot. If you have a big ticket item, I suggest that you do not fix the big ticket item before the escrow has closed. So how do you do that? Typically, you go out and you get a, a quote from at least one, two, three different people about the item that needs to be fixed and then put the money into an escrow account so that at the close of escrow, a check is made out to the people who are gonna do the work and the work gets done. Because again, here's what I see, people go run out and they say, oh, we need all this work done on your house. They go out and they spend four grand putting in a new AC and all this stuff that didn't need to be done anyway, and then the buyer's loan doesn't go through, and now you've just bought new AC for somebody when really the AC was just found to be at the end of its lifespan, which is typical bullshit home inspection language because nothing's explained, but it didn't need a new AC. All right, third, make sure that whoever you have doing work on your house, you get multiple bids on it, the bids that come in for people, yes, there are plenty of contractors that are amazing, do great work. I have a suggestion for everybody here in the Reno area if you need a contractor, but there's a lot of people out there that'll fuck you. There are a lot of people out there that'll take you for a ride. If your real estate agent isn't savvy, if they are new to the game, they'll just take any bid they get and say, oh my God, the deal's done because we can't afford this $5,000 new furnace installation. Okay, look guys, before you go out and spend a bunch of money, don't do anything. Wait for the notice of required repairs to come over. Leave all the big ticket items to be fixed at the close of escrow if you can. If somebody wants you to repair, say, a major furnace or uh, an AC unit or something in the house that's going to cost several thousand dollars, 
before the close of escrow, you better think really closely and keep a tight, a very tight leash on their lender because if for some reason their loan doesn't go through, you just bought them a new air conditioner and you're fucked. Then again, don't trust any of the contractors. Go get several bids. Some people are experts at certain things and some contractors are not. Some contractors will hire somebody else to do the work that they bid on. So get multiple bids on those properties so that you guys can make it through these home inspections. And home inspectors, man, we love you most of the time. <laughs> man, there's some good ones out there. There's some really bad ones out there. The truth is, is that you get two different home inspectors. They will find two different completely different sets of issues with the same home. We even have homes that we have a home inspector go through. Somebody I like, somebody we trust, we've, we've fixed everything in the home. The next home inspector comes through and finds a whole nother list of bullshit. It happens all the time. So that's one of the things that I have to say about home inspectors is they all have different criteria. They all have different pet peeves. And that's one of the reasons having a pre-home inspection ah, just sometimes doesn't do our sellers any good. They end up fixing everything from that home inspection and then a buyer comes in and gets another home inspection. They have to end up fixing everything on that list too. And now they've spent twice the amount of money on home inspections and fixing stuff for a new buyer to enjoy for the next 30 years while you move out. So that's all we got for tonight. If you have any questions about that or home inspectors or repair people that we use, I'm happy to share my, my people who I've been using with you guys if you need some, some solid folks to do some work for you. And you can reach me at www.danielpuzz.work if you guys have any questions about any sort of repairs or maybe what you should do to get a home ready for sale or what you shouldn't do, what to spend money on, where not to spend money, what to keep in your pocket. Give me a call and we can cover a few simple items and you can set an appointment with me on that website, www.danielpuzz.work. You guys have a good week and we'll see you tomorrow.